Hi, this is Harry Guinness for Computer Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, I'm looking at writing long form content on your Mac using Ulysses 3. Apps like Word, which are a lot of people's default writing app, really aren't set up for writing long form content. There's a couple of problems with them, which I outline in the written tutorial below this post. It's enough to say at this point anyway that if you're trying to write a book in Microsoft Word or other apps that I use like Byword, you're not going to have a lot of fun. You're not really able to jump around the documents to work on the bits you feel like working on or to keep everything nice and organized and move parts around easily. Ulysses 3 solves all these problems. So it's got a simple three pane minimalist interface that you can see on the screen in front of you. On the left is the sidebar where you navigate your document library. In the middle then is the sheet list which has all the sheets which I'll cover in a second. And on the right is the editor. In Ulysses 3, the concept of a document or file is a lot more fluid. A sheet is essentially anything that contains any amount of text. Different sheets don't break into different documents. You can move them around as much as you like. You can join them, merge them, group them, do what you want. Think of them as essentially a sheet of paper that you just write a bit down on and then you later position exactly where you want it. So let's get started with creating a hypothetical long form project in Ulysses 3. All your sheets, all your files, all everything is stored in iCloud by default, although you can also use external folders. If you go to the Ulysses preference pane, you can, in the sidebar, decide to see all the local content on your Mac and add folders as you want. I quite like using iCloud because it syncs to the Ulysses 3 app for iOS, which is available on iPad. So I'm going to create a new project in iCloud. So I'm just going to go down to the plus and new group. And we're going to call this Tuts plus screencast project. Can change the icon of it, but that's probably fine. So there's nothing in this project now. So if I was writing a book, say, we might want to use a different group for each chapter. So then with command shift N, I can create a new subgroup and we'll call this chapter one. Intro. And then do the same. Call this chapter two. Electric Boogaloo. And chapter three. Conclusion. Now they've all been nested inside each other. So I'm just going to drag them out to touch plus screencast and then drag chapter three out, and then I can just reposition them. So we've got chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three. Click on Tuts Plus Screen Pass Project, and you can see I've got chapter one intro, chapter two electric blue, and chapter three conclusion. There's still no sheets in them. So first I'm gonna create a sheet inside Touch Plus Screen Pass Project with Command N, and I'm gonna call this a header one, and just go uh, acknowledgements. So this is going to be a sheet in the a sheet at the start of the book. Then in chapter one intro, I can click in, create a new sheet here, and we'll go intro. And then I'm gonna add some lorem ipsum text, which I will grab and copy, because we're gonna be using that again. Create a new sheet, add some more lorem, maybe add a header two, and call this header two. You'll notice that I'm using hashes to represent headers. This is Markdown, which is a markup language that's very, very popular for writing on the web. I've covered it before for Computer Stuts Plus, and I link to the tutorial where I talk about it at length in the written tutorial below this post. So I'm just gonna copy the lorem back in there, and then we'll throw in a file new sheet, throw in some more lorem. If I click back up to Tuts Plus Screencast project, we see we've got the acknowledgements, and then we've got the intro and then those two. Now if I want to move this sheet so it's above that, I can do that, reposition. If I want to link sheets and join them together so they act as one sheet, I can select all three of these, right click, and then I can choose glue sheets to link them 
temporarily or merge sheets to link them permanently. I'm just going to click glue sheets. That's going to give them this blue bar beside them. And if I select one of them, it selects them all and they behave as essentially one sheet. If I want to undo that, I can select them all, push command J to undo, command J to redo. I'm going to jump down to electric boogaloo. I'm just going to add a sheet in here and we'll just throw in a H2 and we'll call this H2 paste and do the same in conclusion. Uh, so we'll just go H3 maybe and then go, we'll do that all in Lorem, see how that looks. So as you're working through, this is essentially your book. You can group things, move them, work however you want and whoever makes it easy for you to work. If you like to work on whatever you're feeling inspired by, you can just jump into the inbox, create a new sheet, start writing. And when you're ready, you can add that to wherever it goes naturally in your project. Alternatively, you can go through and painstakingly outline every project and make sure that you have a thorough plan for what each chapter is going to say, what each subsection is going to say, and even what each sheet is going to include on it. One of the great things you can do is you can also set a goal with Ulysses 3. If I right click on that sheet, I can choose goal, and then I can say I want to do at least a thousand words. I've only got 150, that's not enough. But if I click over here, you can see you've got this little circle that fills up as I go through. It's also there, and you can even set goals for an entire project. So Tooth Plus Screencast project and goal, and I want this to be at least 100 uh, thousand words and I'm at 1200 already so I'm nowhere near it but you can see that little circle is going to keep filling as I write it. With everything done it's time to export your wonderful project. This book is obviously going to be a bestseller so I select all the sheets and then I go to the export menu and then I can choose which file I want to export it as. I can export it as anything from a text file to a PDF. The PDF files and docx files come with some simple styles you can use. So let's try Swiss Knife and click Preview. And you can see that we've got the acknowledgements, then intro, all that text, all the rest of the text, the header 2, the H2, and so on down. You'll notice that within a group, the sheets don't break the flow of the document. You'll see the intro in the first sheet and the header in, I think, the second or third one all run through as one chapter. There's no break where the lorem ipsum moves over. The only break is where you move from chapter one, that group, into chapter two. So this means that sheets are really free for you to write whatever you want. You don't have to worry that you need to merge them before exporting. You can just put whatever you want on a sheet, move it into position, and it will be nicely worked into the final document. You can also look at the text previews, HTML preview if you want to export it out. You can publish it in EPUB, a PDF, or a DOCX if you have to send it over to someone who needs to work on it in Microsoft Word. For more information on using Ulysses 3, check out the written tutorial below. And thank you for watching.